YouTube. Welcome back to Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And my worst fears were realized when I left this overnight sitting down there on the floor. It does leak. I can't sell something that leaks. So um, that seal is like 18 something on eBay and 10 something on Zoller, but I don't have neither. That's what happens when you're overdrafted everything will freaking month. Anyway, I found the problem. The seal can be made good, and I think I'm going to attempt it. I mean, what else can I do? I can, I can fail, or I can, I can succeed. Uh, if I don't try to fix this, then I failed, for sure. So, I'm going to pan you down here and let you see what I've got going on. All right, so this here is the seal that I showed you that this solid piece goes up against and pushes on that as you tighten the bolt up and tightens it and then it spins on that. Well, it's got enough tension. There's enough meat on it. This is not damaged. This rubber is in perfect shape. So the leak has to be coming from here. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there is some roughness in the top side of that. So, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to smooth that out, or at least give it a shot. So, this is going to be my attempt at smoothing that out. So, what I've done, I went to my Dremel. Uh, Dremel tool uh, set and I've got these little sandstones and if I put that on a an adapter and put it in my drill press and put that this here in the vise at level then I can just take and bring that drill press down on that and just let it spin on it a little bit and bring it up spin on it a little bit more, bring it up, check it, until that's smooth again. And it's a fine grit. So, even if I have to go a stronger grit to start with, I'm going to start off with this one. So, we're going to get set up in the drill press, and we're going to try to resurface this rubber. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to give her a shot. All right, so we're going to try to get this in the vise here. And see if we can make this happen. Actually, I can just set it right there. I don't need to uh, clamp it down or nothing. I'll just separate that far enough that it's resting pretty level not perfect. Oh. My jaws are different heights so that's why it's crooked. But that's alright. This will flex that much. Alright so then Then we need to go through our boxes here and see if we can't find something that will work. Um, actually, I already have one. It's already a fixed one that is the same size as that. And I've got another one here that should work too.
So we're going to try this. I mean, what else can it do but fail? Who knows, it might be a way to refurbish uh, seals. Alright, so that might be a little too small. Let me see. This is bigger. But we're going to give it a shot. If it doesn't work, then fine. So here we go. Here's nothing. My God, I believe it's working. My God. <laughs> Alright, we need to go a little bit further. Because we got one little spot right here that needs to be off, but other than that, it's working. Now don't you all try that at home. Now that should marry right up to that with no problem. So we'll take a little bit of this oil here, saturate the edge of that, but that seal was what was leaking. Now if it's leaking around the shaft, there ain't a whole lot I can do about that. So now we get to test this over again to see 
if it leaks again. So hopefully nobody buys it between now and then because I'm not going to take the ad down. But um, I just decided that was the best way to, to fix that seal and I think that's going to work. We hope. So now just to make sure that there is no doubt. We're going to clean that dry. And we'll leave that overnight and see if it works. If it does. Hey, we just figured out how to fix seals. Or at least that type of seal that's flat on the top. So, there you have it. Um, how to resurface a rubber pump seal. And that thing was pretty rough, so I can see how it leaked. Uh, but after I'd done what I did on the drill press, uh, I just used one of these little uh, grinder disc that's real fine grit and just pushed it down on there just lightly and you could see the rubber coming off of it where it was sanding the rubber off of it so you can see where the rubber was coming off of it so yeah uh, I'm glad I thought of that. And don't you guys forget, Bison thought of that first. So, I'm so sure that that's fixed, I'm not going to worry about it. Somebody comes to buy it, I'll just tell them like they tell me. It broke in a car. <laughs> On the way to their house. I'll give, I know what I'll do. I'll give them an out of sight guarantee. Once it's out of sight, guarantee is off. <laughs> you know I'm joking. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Uh, you guys have a good one. Later.